Right. So in this problem, we're given a differential equation. We're asked to find the power series solution, or a third order approximation to the uh, power series solution. The reason that we're not asked to find the entire power series solution is it's a little bit more challenging than the problems, uh, previous problems in this section. The reason for that is because the differential equation is maybe y prime uh, is equal to y squared plus x. This y squared term complicates things a lot. Because if you remember, we assume that the solution y has, uh, is of the form uh, sum from k equals 0 to infinity, b sub k, x to the k. So to proceed like before, where we take the derivative, so y prime is equal to the sum from k equals uh, 1 to infinity of uh, k b sub k, x to the k, uh, actually the k minus 1. So to continue, before, like before, we would set this equal to this whole thing squared, which is essentially what we'll do. So we'll have the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of b sub k, x to the k is equal to um, the derivative of y squared, where we substitute the power series. should be k minus 1. Uh, plus x. The problem that we have is there's not really a good way. It's going to get really messy trying to, or expanding this whole thing. We know that we have a formula um, says that this is equal to the double summation, so n equals 0 to infinity, uh, sum from k equals 0 to n of uh, b sub k, b sub n minus k uh, times x to the n. And of course, we need to add the x term in. But to find a recursion formula, or to find and solve a recursion uh, relation to, you know, get a, um, to get a, you know, full solution, or a, Closed formula for y is be really messy, really complicated, and quite possibly not even possible. But what we can do instead is just find an approximation to it, find the first three terms, or four or three terms, whatever. We want the third approximation, so we're going to want to find the coefficients uh, b not b1, b2, and b3, so the first four coefficients. All right, well, we're given that b naught is, I believe, equal to uh, 1. Yes, yeah, we're also given the initial condition that y evaluated at 0 is equal to 1. So that automatically implies that the first coefficient, or the you know, b naught, is equal to 1. And the reason for that is, well, if we evaluate this power series at x equals 0, then, well, that's why same as y of 0, so that's equal to 1. And all the, co all the terms are going to go to 0 except for uh, the b sub 0 term, which implies that b sub 0 is equal to 1. All right, so let's try to figure out what the coefficients are for the other terms. So b sub 1 coefficient is going to be equal to, well, if we expand this, we get, um, see when b... Uh, okay, so we expand this, so when n equals equal to 0, we have b sub 0 times b sub 0. Uh, times x to the 0. Okay, and now if n is equal to 1, um, so now we're moving up one um, index in the outer sum. So now n is equal to 1, we'll have b sub well, 0 times b sub 1 plus b sub 1 times b sub 0 uh, times x plus, all right, let's see. So now we want n equals 2. So we'll have um, b sub 0 times b sub 2 plus b sub 1 times b sub 1 plus b sub 2 
b sub 0 times x squared. We'll add the coefficient for the third term. So this is going to be b sub 0, b sub 3, plus b sub 1, b sub 2, plus b sub 2, b sub 1, plus uh, b sub 3, b sub 0. And of course, we need to add the x um, that's given in the original differential equation. All right, so this is great, except we have no idea what the coefficients are. Right? We know that um, we know what b naught is, so maybe we can you know, figure out that is equal to 1 times x naught, that's equal to 1. Uh, we know that this is b naught is equal to 1, so this is 2b1, so plus 2. B1 um, plus, or 2B1 times x plus, so this, we've got a B2 and a B2 here, so that's plus 2B2 plus B1 squared. And that's times x squared. Plus, we've got 2B3s. Um, so, 2b3 plus 2 times b1, b2 uh, times x cubed plus the x. Uh, okay, so the challenge is figuring out what these coefficients are. Now if we assume that y squared has um, uh, has a power series of the form c to the k, or c sub k, x to the k, then this means that, well, c sub 0, since this part right here is just the first ter few terms of y squared, um, x, just excluding the last uh, x that we uh, added on, we get that uh, well, c naught must equal uh, b naught times b naught, since that's the um, constant term. That's just 1. Uh, c 1 must equal well, the coefficient of the x term, so 2 uh, 2b1 uh, C2 is equal to, let's see, 2B2 plus B1 squared. And third coefficient must equal, uh, let's see, where are we? 2B3 plus 2B1, B2. All right, so to find the rest of the coefficients um, for the solution, so the um, b sub k's, we need to let's first remember that um, the derivative of y is equal to the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of uh, k times b sub k uh, times x to the k minus 1, which if we re-index using j equals k minus 1, so we're going from x equals, um, and this should be from k equals 1, uh, so we're going from x equals x to the 0 up to x you know, progressively upwards, then this becomes the sum from k equals 0 to infinity, so this is re-indexing according to this and then substituting in k for j, we get k plus 1, b sub k plus 1, x to the k. So if we look at this, uh, on the left-hand side, we see that, well, if we want the, what we really want are the b sub k's. So here we know that um, if we say let k equal 0, then what we'll get here, we'll get y prime is equal to uh, 1 times b sub 1. And that'll give us the coefficient for uh, the kth term. 
So what we need to do on the right hand side is look at the k power term. Uh, in this case, k is equal to zero, so uh, we don't need to worry about the x, but with the y squared, uh, we know that the uh, k term or the zero term is just equal to c naught, which we found is equal to one. So b1 is just equal to one. Right, for uh, let's see for b2 now, uh, let's let k equal one. So on the left hand side, if we look at the um, kth term, we get uh, k equals one, so we get two times b sub two. And now that's the k term, so that's the first order term. So that's going to be equal to uh, well the first. Um, first order term of y squared, which is c1, and the first order term of x, which is just 1, the first order coefficient, let's say. So this means that 2 times b2 is equal to, well, c1 is 2 times b1 plus 1. That's equal to 2 times b1 is just 1, so that's 2 plus 1 plus 3. So b2 is equal to three halves. All right. And finally, letting k equals equal two, we'll get the um, get the value of the third coefficient. So k equals two means that let's plug in two plus one is three, b sub three. And it's going to give us the coefficient for the second term of, um, or second order term of y squared. So this is coefficient for the second order term, or excuse me, second order term of y prime. Second order term of y squared uh, is going to be just c2. And there's no second order term of x, so this is um, going to equal c2 is 2b. Um, See 2b, let me look back here. Should be 2b2 plus b1 squared. And we know that b2 is equal to 3 halves. So we have 2 times 3 halves. And b1 is equal to 1, so this is 1 squared. So this gives us 3 plus 1 equals 4. So now, after all of that, we can say that the best third order approximation to the solution to the differential equation y equals y squared plus x is uh, y uh, approximately equal to well, b naught is 1 plus 1 times x times 3 halves x squared plus for x cubed. And of course, since we center the power series around zero, this is only valid for values of x close to zero, which um, of course is, agrees with our initial condition that y of, y of zero is equal to one. So our, we, know, we know what the solution looks like approximately for values close to the center of zero.